bring all the kids to their Sunday class. I want you to all come in. Um, Malcolm's brother. Okay, everybody stay. You can have, everybody have a seat. I just want to introduce something different just for the kids before they go. Joshua, can we all come here in the front? Uh, Julia and Gabby. This is something I, I just want to uh, portray about how I became a Christian because I was like this when, when this all started. So I was always uh, kind of praised. So I have a question. Any of you has problems saying no to wrong things? No? No? How about you? Yes. What's, what's, like, give me an example. Eating? How about you, uh, Gabby? How about playing, watching TV? Do you have to watch TV all the time? Okay. So I, we're going to do something as if, so the, so the children can understand something, okay? So I, I asked uh, Jazzy and Caitlin to, to help me with this so the children can understand. We're in the kitchen, and I am the cook. I always want to be a cook, but my wife always cooks for me. So, I want the children to answer my question after we cook, okay? All right. Okay, it is Wednesday, and we always do the Bible study. And I always like to cook. So, here it goes. Brother Cork, who's coming here today? Oh, is Bobby coming today? Hmm, okay, so let me start cooking some more food because I know there's more people coming. Can I have a cookie? Look, he just had six cookies, remember? I only have two left, and Bobby and Dora are still coming in. So just go somewhere and just, just play, okay? And I promise this is my last one. Hold on, Bobby, uh, I'm about to record. All right, I have to hang up, okay? I have to talk to this kid. Look, I already, I already said you have, you have six cookies. You have to wait. I have to cook some more. Okay? Can I have a cookie? Oh, there's some more. Caitlin, you only got, you got seven or eight cookies today? Oh. What would Bobby do when he comes here and there's no food? Why would you just play? How about like remembering what I told you last Sunday about our Bible verse? What did it say? So what is it to do about the, the cookies? There's nothing wrong with the cookie, right? The cookies are evil. Yep. But it becomes an evil if you stare at it and you'll, you'll eat and you, you, you will disobey. And that is an evil. So why won't you play and I'll, I'll continue cooking here, okay? All right, I'll call somebody else. Bye. Hey, Brother Fork, are you coming? Okay. All right, it's 7 o'clock. I have to open the door. Hmm. All right, Caitlin, Jess, it's time to eat. You can eat. Daddy, I don't want to have a cookie. Why? Because I, I, I did something other than the cookies. So you start playing the toys. Oh, so you distracted yourself. How about you? I don't want a cookie. Why? I'm staring at Because you never went away. Okay. All right, that's all. So it's a small short skit. You can, you can sit down. It's a small uh, short skit for us to remind that what are the things, what are the things you can do to, to avoid temptation? How about Gabby? What, what do you, how do you get rid of so you don't have temptation or so you don't get to eat the cookie? You stay away. How about you? Distract yourself by doing something good. How about you, Kilana? Watching TV, that's great. So uh, for the lesson for the adults, sometimes it's hard for us to do to avoid temptation, but it's always nice to really trust in the Lord because there's nothing impossible. Like me, I, I, I cannot avoid myself by doing these things, but if I put my trust in the Lord, there's nothing impossible. Yes. So let's, let's, let's bring all the kids to their Sunday class and let's uh, pray for um, a pastor for his preaching for the day.
Okay, you can go to your Sunday class.